everybody, it's Lissa. Welcome back to my channel. And in today's video, as you can see from the title, I am going to be doing an unboxing of a Samsung watch. So I'm kind of like slowly turning into a Samsung girl, I feel like, because I just want to try all these new Samsung things. So it started with my new phone. I got the Samsung Z Flip. I do have an unboxing on this phone on my channel if you want to go check it out. And then I got the Samsung earbuds, the BTS ones, to go with my phone. And now I decided that I want to try the watch watch because I have an Apple watch as you can see and I absolutely love this thing. I wear it every single day and I love all of the things that are on it but I don't really like that there's not too much to really do on Apple watches. I feel like the fitness and everything on, watch on Apple watches is really great but customization and stuff like that is not very great. So I decided to get a watch that was kind of comparable to this Apple watch. Um, I did get a older Samsung watch just because I didn't want to pay like $400 for like the fancy one. This is the series for Apple watch. This one is way more expensive than the Samsung watch I'm showing you. So there may be some things that are not on this watch compared to an Apple watch and stuff like that. So I'm not really going to compare the two in this video, but I got the, and I already opened the packaging, but I haven't actually looked at the watch yet. So I got the Samsung Active 2 watch in, I believe it's gold, um, but it looks kind of rose gold to me. I got the 44 millimeter because my Apple watch is a 44 millimeter and I really like the size of it. So I decided to get the bigger size. I bought this used on eBay. So there may be stuff in the packaging um, that may not be in there when that's normally in there if it's brand new. So I got this for pretty cheap online, a little bit over $100. This watch has been out since I believe 2019. So it's a little bit older, but I didn't want to get a brand new one anyway, just to try out and see if I like it more than my Apple watch. And then I also got some watch bands for it. I bought I couldn't pick one strap, so I got like a bunch of different straps because that's what I do. When I can't pick one, I just buy them all. So let me go ahead and open this first and then I'll show you guys the accessories that I bought and then we'll turn it on and we'll kind of do like a little first impressions thing. Well, first let's talk about the packaging. This box is absolutely tiny. It's like literally the size of my hand, like smaller than the size of my hand. I really like how small the packaging is. It's not so extra like Apple packaging is where there's like eight things that you have to open before you can actually get to the watch. So I do appreciate that. Whoa, look at that, Dobby. It's so cool, Dobby. It's so cool, Dobby. Look at the watch. Oh my God. Dobby, get off of me. Okay, so here is what it looks like inside of the packaging. Very simple, sleek, cute. I really like it. But there's also something inside the lid. So let's just see what's in here first. If I can get it out. So it looks like we have a quick start guide in here. I don't know if like if you bought it new, there'd be more stuff inside of this little packaging, but all I have is a quick start guide, which is fine. And then I believe there's something inside of this. Yeah, there is. So we have the charger inside of here. It's very similar to an Apple Watch charger where it just has the like magnetized charger that you just put the watch on top of it and it charges it. So I'll probably get a little dock for it like I do with my Apple Watch. And I really like that it's black. All right, and here is the watch. So let's go ahead and check it out. This is really, really pretty. And for it being used, there's like no scratches on it at all. There was like a little bit of like dust on it from the used seller, but it looks really good. So as you can see, it looks more rose gold than gold to me, but it is gold. And compared to the 44 millimeter Apple watch, they're definitely about the same size, but I really like Samsung watches better because I like that it looks like an actual round watch. That's what's always attracted me to the Samsung watches is that it, you know, is not square because I'm not a really big fan of the square look, to be honest. Here is the back of it. I don't know if you can see it has a pretty bad glare, but it just says Samsung Galaxy watch. On the side, we have some buttons and the strap they have on it is the medium to large strap, which is definitely gonna be way too big for my wrist. I always use the small to medium. So I'm glad I bought extra <laughs> straps with it. So let's put it on my wrist and see how big it looks. I think it'll look pretty normal to what my Apple Watch looks like, but this is so much prettier than the Apple Watch. Okay, as you can see, this strap is way too big because I have it on the last one and it's still pretty big. Here's what it looks like. And compared to my Apple Watch, it looks literally about the same. I don't think it looks too big and extra, but I can understand why some people would think this looks too big, but this is definitely what I'm used to. So before I turn it on, let me show you all of the extra straps and the accessories that I bought for the watch, and then we'll turn this on and I'll try it out. I just really love how nice it looks with my phone. I'm so excited. All right, so we have the first package right here. 
so I did get a screen protector for it. Um, I always get screen protectors for all of my watches because I'm always like working out in them. I wear them every single day and I just don't want them to get scratched up. I know some people like to get those cases that go around them, but the Samsung watch has this bevel around that you use to scroll through things. And if you cover it with a case, it's really hard to use the bevel. I think it's called a bevel. I could be wrong. Getting screen protectors instead. I believe it's a glass screen protector, but I'm not too sure. It comes in a pack of five. Then I bought this rainbow strap because I just thought it was so cute. I was hoping to get it in time for Pride Month, but it is over, but it's okay. I will still wear it anyways. So here it is super bright and pretty and it comes with an extra little like the thingy that connects into the watch i don't really know what this is called but it's cool i've never seen it actually come with an extra like that from what i understand pretty much all of the samsung watches are all compatible when it comes to the straps so a lot of like the more expensive samsung watches they will be able to use these straps as well. Here's the next package. I have two straps in here. So first I got this like maroon colored one because as many of you guys know, this is my favorite color. This color and purple are my all time favorite color. So this one is a stretchy material. I don't really know what material this is called, but it's definitely like stretchy and you can tighten it and loosen it. And it has that gold that will match the, the gold of this really well. And I think this is really nice. So instead of the ends of the watch coming with the little silver things, you have to put the silver things inside of it. So I'm just gonna have to figure out how that works. And all of these straps were super cheap as well. I believe most of them are like $5. They definitely were not over 10. Then I got this black and white silvery flower pattern. This is really, really pretty. Definitely my style because I love flowers, but I also like the, you know, black and white. It's my favorite like shade theme, I guess, because I guess these are more shades than colors, but all right. And lastly, we have one more strap in here and I bought this one mainly because it's literally the exact same colors as my new phone. So here is this strap. This one is like a metal material and I typically would not buy this material because I don't find it very comfortable and it actually puts like a rash on my wrist, but I literally just bought it so I can take pictures that look aesthetically pleasing with my headphones and my phone because it's like exactly the same colors and it shines the same in the sunlight. So that's literally the only reason why I bought this one. I don't know if that's good reasoning, but it seems a really nice quality. It magnetizes together like that and it looks pretty cool. So yeah, those are the straps that I got. Okay, so I'm gonna do this really fast off camera. I'm gonna pick the strap that I want to put on my new watch and I'm gonna have to try to figure out how to take these straps off because I have no idea how to do it. And then I'm also going to put the screen protector on and then I will show you guys me turning it on and how it connects to my Samsung phone. So I'll be right back. Okay guys, I just put the new strap on and it was super easy. All you have to do is pull this and these straps come out. So it's way easier to put on than Apple watches for sure. And then I put on the screen protector. As you can see, there is a little bubble there but I couldn't really get it out, but it did come with multiple screen protector so I could probably put another one on if I wanted to but it doesn't really bother me that much so let's just go ahead and turn it on I don't know which one's the power button I'm assuming it's the bigger one I could be wrong I'm probably wrong all right I'm wrong yeah there we go that's the power button so the Samsung Galaxy Watch Active 2 so that's the one that I got I know there's just Samsung Galaxy watches but I just wanted to get this one because it was cheaper and I like the way it looks. I don't need anything really fancy anyways. So let's see how easy it is to hook to my Z Flip here. Let's go. Okay, swipe up, swipe up. Okay, get started in the Galaxy wearable app on your phone. All right. Oh, it automatically popped up, kind of like how the Apple Watch does. So a new device has been detected, so I'm gonna click Add Now, and let's see what it does. So I already put the app on my screen here, so I'm just going to click it. Turn on Bluetooth, okay. Okay, so it doesn't look like it added it like it said it was supposed to, so let me just go ahead and add a new device, because it didn't add it. And then right here we says Galaxy Watch Active 2, and now we're going to pair it. All right, so the numbers match, so I'm gonna press connect. So it's just as fast as connecting an Apple Watch to an iPhone. Um, in my opinion, it's literally about the same thing. Yeah, we're just gonna wait for it to pair up like this. I really, really like the way this watch looks and feels. I just, I love the circle look. I don't know why, I just think it looks so much prettier than the square. Twyla's in the background coming to say hello. 
You can say hi, Twyla. Congrats on your new Galaxy Watch Active 2. Link Watch Active 2 plugin with Galaxy Watch. Yes. All right, it says you're all set. Enjoy your watch. And then as you can see, it was added to the wearable app. So my earbuds and my watch are connected here, which I think is really cool. There's like a little area where you can choose a bunch of stuff for that. So now I'm going to try to just check out the watch. It says, take a look around, swipe left to see your widgets, swipe right to go back to the watch face for notifications, swipe right, press the, okay. So this is the back key and this is the home slash power key right here. And then you swipe down to get the panels, kind of like with Apple Watches. Touch the screen with your palm to turn it off. With your palm? So you just gotta... Oh, interesting. You, you we have to think about the safety of everyone else. Stone. Just kind of hit your watch like that. <laughs> So this uh, watch face is actually really cute. I don't know. Okay, there we go. I really like this watch face. I think it's actually really pretty, but I'm definitely going to change it. So let me try to figure out here what I'm supposed to do. Okay, so here are all the apps we have. So I really like how organized it is compared to an Apple Watch, because as many of you guys know, an Apple Watch is like ridiculously unorganized. Like you go to it and it's just everywhere, all of these different apps. And I really hate the way that it's laid out a lot. I don't like that at all. So I don't know. I'm just swiping now. I don't really know what's happening. Uh, daily activity, which I'm definitely going to be using because I like to track the workouts. Here are some of the apps, running, cycling, swimming, more. Record an ECG to monitor your heart, which I definitely will do. Heart rate, weather, calendar, and you can add all of those widgets. So yeah, we have all of these. I'm assuming it's like heart right here, galaxy store. Let's see, can you, oh, there we go. You can use the bevel, bezel, bevel, health monitor, Samsung Pay, Samsung Health, Bixby, which I don't actually use. I haven't tried using it on my phone yet. Contacts, phone, messages, and recent apps. And then we have more stuff over here. We have weather, an alarm, calendar, reminder, email, music, gallery, find my phone, Spotify, pretty cool world clock and then we have a timer which is awesome and a stopwatch which I definitely use a lot with working out so I don't really know where you go oh watch faces that's what I was always about to ask and you could choose it where your watch is always on kind of like a real watch where you can see the time all the time I feel like that would definitely drain the battery but that's actually really cool so I guess I'm just gonna try to figure out how to customize the watch face real quick and then I'll let you guys know how I did it okay guys I just kind of changed the watch face to picture that I had on my phone because I didn't really like many of the themes on the store I don't know they were just kind of like cheap looking and I wish I could customize the live wallpaper to have like my heart rate and everything instead of just the clock because of my Apple watch I can have it where I have a photo but I can also put a bunch of different things like the calendar activity you know heart all of that stuff so I don't know if maybe that there is an option for this and I'm just not seeing it but so far I have not been able to see it yet I did customize it where the background is kind of purple and I haven't switched around the apps or downloaded any new apps or anything like that yet, but that is what I have so far with the watch face. So yeah, that was an unboxing of my new Galaxy watch. Um, I'm going to be testing it out every day for the next week or two and seeing how I like it um, and if I like it more than the Apple Watch or not. Aesthetically, I like it way more than the Apple Watch, but every single time I kind of flip my wrist up, it automatically comes on and my other watch doesn't do that, but I think there's a setting that I can do to turn it off because I just don't want it to keep flicking on and off like this. Yeah, I really think it's pretty and I like the way that it looks and I like the way, like there are tons of themes to choose from. I just haven't found a theme that I really like for it yet. So I hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing. If you have any questions, feel free to comment down below or if you have any advice, feel free to comment down below as well. I'm gonna be watching some videos on the watch to see if I can figure out how to customize a wallpaper watch face a little bit easier. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to check out my other channels down below and also my social medias down below as well. I love you guys so much and I'll see you next time. Bye guys. Thank you.